jQuery includes some handy ways to get and set CSS properties of elements and also to get and set classes of elements. I already have some HTML code set up here. You can see just a few different elements. They have some classes on it. I also have some CSS here, just a few things, the red class and the big class. And then I've already started an action for a button using jQuery. We have the jQuery selector to select the button and then I've added a click event and then I'm just about to put in what happens when you click the event. And I'm going to show you how to work with CSS and classes. Um, first, if you need help adding jQuery to your project, you can check out my getting started with jQuery video. So first I'm going to show you how to get CSS properties. We can use the CSS method. And we're going to get the font size property. So I've selected the paragraph. Now this is just going to give us the font size of the first paragraph element. And we want to display that, so let's put it in the console. Console.log. So we have the we selected the paragraph dot CSS and we're going to get the CSS of font size. So I'm going to click here and you can see in the console 16 pixels. So this is in camel case, but you can also put it how you would normally see in CSS with a dash here. And then if I um, click there again, it's just going to show the same thing, 16 pixels. Now we can also select the paragraph tag with the big class. And 36 pixels because it's bigger. Now let's take off the console.log because instead of getting the property, we're going to set the property. We pass in two things, the class name font size and what we're going to set it to. Let's set it to 100 pixels. So now big is going to be even bigger. Click the element. Oh, it's even bigger. It's 100 pixels now. So you just do .css. The first thing that you pass in is the CSS property, and the second thing you pass in is what you want to set that property to. We can also set multiple CSS properties at once by passing in an object. So let's delete that, and I'm going to create an object which is just surrounded by these curly braces and we're going to pass in key value pairs. So when we're passing in key value pairs you're going to have to use the camel case for the name here. Whenever you're passing in as a string you can use either way, either the dashes or the camel case, but if you're passing in, in as a property name like this or if you're passing in as a key you're going to have to use camel case. So we're going to set this to 50 pixels, comma, now we're going to change the color to blue and let's just add a background color oh add a comma here now instead of just doing the big class we're gonna select all the paragraph elements so let's see what happens here I'm gonna click the button and you can see each paragraph element has the blue text and the yellow background and it's bigger now it's not recommended to use the CSS method as a setter in production ready code because it's generally best practice to keep presentational information out of the JavaScript code. See, we're adding actual CSS to the JavaScript code and often you'll want to just keep your CSS in your CSS file and then just add or remove classes if you want to change the CSS. So I'm just going to comment that button now and then add the same code again and we're going to change what the button does. I just want both still in here so if you click on the link for the code in the description of this video you can see both ways of doing it. Now let's select the h1 element and we're going to do add class. That's how you add a class in jQuery. So we're going to pass in the class name. I'm going to class pass in red. First let's go back to how it was before. Okay if I click the click me you can see that h1 changed to red because we add the red class. We can also remove classes. So here I'm going to select paragraphs and instead of add class I'm going to do remove class. And instead of removing class red I'm going to remove class big. So I'm going to click the button and you can see the paragraphs aren't big anymore because the big has been removed from every paragraph tag. Only one of them had the tag to begin with though. So another thing you can do is toggle class. So let me show you that. Instead of remove class, I'm going to do toggle class. And I'm still selecting every paragraph element. So now when we click the button, it'll just switch. See which paragraph is big is switching. So it's either turning on the big class if it doesn't already have the big class, or it's turning off the big class if it already has it. It's toggling. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to check if an element has a class. We can use the has class method. 
we're going to check if the element h2 has the class big. And we could put this into an if statement, but I'm going to just do console.log. Okay, let's try this. False. It does not have the class big. But if we change this to class red, true, it does have the class big. Okay, thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.